No mistake. G'day, this is Jody. Hi, how are you going? Um, Jody's just come to Thailand or uh, and has had some procedures and we're going to find out about those. Um, now, Jody, this is for other people to watch who are watching this and deciding themselves whether they're going to go to Thailand to have this procedure done. Why would you go to Thailand to have this procedure done? Ooh, I'd go to Thailand to have this done because it's cheaper uh, than having it done in Australia. And after having the procedure done here, I was a bit nervous about coming over here in the beginning, simply because I'm coming to Thailand to have surgery. Um, but the hospital is the most amazing hospital I've ever been in in my entire life. Why? Yeah. What makes it so good? Um, it's clean. It is far superior, clean and tidy and staff everywhere just are there to look after you. Their number one priority is take care of the patient, whether it's the lady coming in and sweeping the floor in the morning in your, in your hospital room, to the nurses, to the doctors, it's just, you feel special. Like, I felt, I felt special. I felt special because global health travel staff were looking after me and taking me to see the doctors and then when I was at the hospital I almost felt like I was you know like a priority patient getting in the lifts and at the reception it was there was no waiting there was no queues it was just it was like the waters just parted and in I came and everyone was just looking after me. Okay but you know the hospitals in Australia are pretty good. <clears throat> yeah they're different though. They're, well the hospitals in Australia are they feel more clinical in Australia. I felt like I was at a five-star hotel at this hospital. It was, it didn't feel like a hospital. It felt, it, it didn't feel sterile. It wasn't white washed walls. It was, it was warm. It was welcoming. The, the decorations and the and the furniture and everything in the hospital didn't say hospital. It, it said five-star resort. So you just felt like, even though you're in hospital, about to had surgery, it felt like you were still on holidays. So. Hmm. Okay. And um, have you been to Bangkok before? No, this is my first time to Bangkok. What did you think Bangkok was before you came here? Um, I thought Bangkok would be a really seedy, dirty, grimy, third world country. Okay. And you've walked the streets? I have. And is it? No. Well, it mm. is. It has... It, the streets are, you're in Asia, so yes it is, it's not like walking down Queen Street Mall in Brisbane, um, but it's alive with people and smells and it's vibrant, the people are beautiful, they're really helpful, even though they all try really hard to speak English and communicate with you and it's, it's, a, good, it's a good place. Okay, cool. But... Um... Do you think that sort of, you know, it's still a pretty busy city, but the hospital's different from... Yeah, the hospital's nothing like being on the street. It's, it's, it's six star. I wouldn't even say it's five star. I would say it's six star. Wow. Mm. All right. And think back about the concerns you had before you came to Thailand, um, because, you know, you obviously were making the decision... Why go all the way to Thailand instead of just doing it here in Australia? You know, those concerns, that's... Um, I have to say, my biggest thing about coming to Thailand initially was the cost. It was, it was less than half. In Australia, it was going to cost me somewhere between twelve and $15,000. For 10 days, my whole package was about half that. Hmm. So... And I've had 10 days in Bangkok. I've been shopping. I've been to the Tiger Temples. I've been... You've been shopping? I've been shopping. i <laughs> MBK. <laughs> it's great. Oh, there is absolutely nothing about this whole trip that... Tell us quickly about your recovery. Um, my, I think I've been pretty lucky. My recovery was um, pretty quick. Day three. Um, day two, you're out of, I was out of hospital. Day three, um, I was out shopping. Um, and by I only took one sleeping tablet on my second night, and then I didn't take any painkillers after about day. I think day three was the last painkiller. So um, I've been very lucky. 
Right. Okay. And is that is that a standard thing or what? Well, I think everybody's different. I don't. I'm not sure. But for me, I was. I had. I was determined not to spend ten days in bed because I was in Bangkok and I wanted to go shopping. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Have you had any pain because of that? Shopping. Yeah. No such thing as pain when you're shopping, no. is there? No. All right. Well, thanks, Jody. No worries. And um, because there's probably some husbands out there watching this as well, wondering if this is all worth it. Well, yes, it's worth it. <laughs> <laughs> Bye.